if anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Ultimately, I do believe that this is a, an election that is about strength versus weakness. Yeah. And weakness as projected by someone who puts himself in front of the American people. Welcome back to America Decides. Good to have you with us. That's a couple of moments of note from Vice President Harris's interviews today, first on The View, then The Howard Stern Show. Vice President is also taping an interview on CBS's The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, as the title suggests that will air later tonight. Our political panel joins me now. Names and resumes, stand by. Chuck Roach, a Democratic strategist who formerly served as senior advisor for Senator Bernie Sanders' 2016 and 2020 presidential campaigns. Kevin Sheridan, formerly served spokesperson for the Republican National Committee, also a senior advisor for the Romney-Ryan 2012 presidential campaign. Kevin, I want to start with you. I saw you nodding, probably metaphorically salivating of that answer from the vice president about anything that she would have done differently of the Biden administration. Do you likely to expect to see that in a Trump ad sometime soon? They've spent the entire time, uh, the, the Democrat campaign has spent the entire time trying to, trying to distance them uh, from Joe Biden. And in one soundbite, she undid that. And that, of course, that's already a, a digital ad. I'm sure they'll put some money behind it. Um, that that's going to do some real damage to her. She also couldn't answer why, because it, it goes to the entire core of what she's been saying that she's change, and <laughs> that's not change. That's the opposite of change. That's four more years of the exact same thing that we have. And she also did damage on fracking, on not being able to answer why she's changed her position on that, on picking a fight with Ron DeSantis today for no reason at all. Um, when, when his state is, is about to be obliterated by a Cat 5 hurricane, you know, hopefully not, but just a, a real bad week for her, and I think she did some real damage. Chuck, bad week, and it's only Tuesday, according to Kevin Sheridan. <laughs> no doubt. Hey, Republicans always say it's going to be a bad week when we're whooping that butt. That's what I'm going to say. Is that okay. They've had a good, good week. And she's not doing what she should be doing, is talking to the press and getting out. Look, Give we're at some the some data end. on the whooping their butt part we of that. We are at the end of the persuasion part of this campaign. If you really care about the issues that my brother Eric is talking about, you're right. You've made up your mind. You're probably going to be on Team Blue or Team Red. This is about getting out the vote and about coming across as somebody you trust or somebody you like in a presidential campaign. Donald Trump didn't have some deep policy book. We didn't go into the analytics of all the things that he talked about. He got up and put his whole logo on the front of a red hat. And it was simple enough for America to go, yeah, that seems pretty cool. Let's break some things. And they trusted that he would do that. Now they know what they got, and they're going to make a choice of getting out the vote. The difference in this election will be folks that nobody's polling that are new to this race, either for Trump or for Harris, who haven't been caught because they just came of age lately. And we don't know how many of them, because we know if everybody that voted in the last election, it's going to be razor thin just like it new is now. New voters are not going to be voting for four more years of the same. If she's, if she's out there saying she's four more years of the same, she can't think of a single thing that she would change, that's... If that, in deal, fact, was true, we would be losing by five. I'm just saying that all the polls can't be wrong. Mm -hmm. Kevin, I want to play for you a soundbite of someone you know and I believe still respect, Senator Mitt Romney of Absolutely. Utah, about what former President Trump has said recently about Hurricane Helene relief efforts. Let's play that. The amount of disinformation is really extraordinary, although it's not just being put out by the Russians and the Chinese. I mean, former President Trump told us that the people in Springfield are eating dogs and cats, all right? I mean, you know, he likewise said that, that FEMA money, our emergency money, instead of helping the people that have been hit by the hurricane, is being used to help illegals. I mean, he just makes it up. He just makes it up. True. Fact check true. Lately. Well, I will say uh, the online conversation has gotten pretty wild out there right now. I mean, people are talking and about... And even local officials in North Carolina are saying, a crazy thing. this is... This is intimidating people or giving them the bad information that they're actually vectoring off or acting on that is hampering efforts. It's hard to it, to it, rescue them or to recover in the areas most. I mean, he's he's severely he's, hit. He's making a point, and that's why he's getting off Twitter or X. Um, and I think meaning Senator Romney. Senator Romney, I, I believe he said that today. Um, but yeah, I. The people of North Carolina and, and Florida come first. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know the actual facts in some of this, these cases. Uh, so saying definitively that FEMA money is getting to North Carolina or not is, is something that I, I just don't know the answer to. And I 
sit on X and, and try to figure this stuff out all day. But yeah, I, it's no secret that uh, Senator Romney is not going to, he's not going to stand for any kind of misinformation out there. But we just, honestly, we don't know the full picture right now. Chuck, you mentioned this choice that people are going to make. Does this factor into the choice that people are going to make? It makes my point is it's motivation to the far right or the far left. I've seen Democrats do the same thing. So this ain't a partisan thing. We all give red meat and this is red meat going, all them Democrats are trying to keep that money from going down to these good red states like Florida. It's a motivational factor. And I get the strategy, you know, game respects game. And I understand that. The real factor is, is my mama is 72 and I got a pregnant niece who's nine months pregnant, who I had to talk them into getting in a car from Fort Myers, Florida today and drive south to Miami to go stay with one of my fishing guide buddies. Cause I was like, look, this is gonna be real. My sister and my brother-in-law are grown, at, grown people and they can stay there and fight this. But my, somebody get my mama in a car and get her out of there and get her somewhere. Because they were like, oh, it's not gonna be that bad. I've been seeing on social media. I'm like, no, no, it's gonna be really bad. Not that they've been affected by Democrat right. or Republican employee, but it's real people's lives to Eric and mine point. And disbelieving or undercutting experts, which is something that played out in, entirely on the stage of the vice presidential debate doesn't help in situations like this. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I think what you're seeing now here at the end, it was 29 days out. Lots of folks are voting. Lots of folks are getting information. It's like it's really key for these campaigns to be using this last little bit to get every vote that they can get out. But do it in a fair way. Like if I get beat by a Republican, I'm good with getting beat by it. But let's get beat on the issues. The Fact experts question. have been wrong a lot in the last five years. Last word, Kevin Sheridan. Thank you. Appreciate it.